What's going on America? This is Kevin in Kevin's Corner. This is part two of my rant for the day. Uh, still out here waiting on the dogs. Look at that. Yeah, he's looking for trouble. Man, where is he at? Yeah, I bet you're looking for some trouble, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, don't be coming over here. Yeah, don't look that way. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah. They don't have any home training. That's the problem. Anyway, um, so apparently Chucky e. Schumer got a problem with Donald Trump. Now, instead of him celebrating the fact that Donald Trump was able to negotiate the release of three Americans, three Asian Americans, you would think Chuck would just take one break away from partisan politics, lay it aside for a day, Chuck, something. So you can just simply focus on the fact that something great happened. OK, but instead, Chuck uses this as an opportunity to throw mud on the whole party. He's a party pooper. Matter of fact, we need to break out the song for, for Chuck with the 808. Party pooper. Boom, boom. Party pooper. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's what Chuck is. He's a party pooper. And for him to say something like, as uh, Donald Trump uh, commented, and he complimented Kim Jong-un for releasing the hostages. And um, I got a problem with that because uh, he should have just straight up, uh, I guess, told Kim Un that, hey, buddy, next time you take some hostages, you better give them back right away. I'm going to punch you in the face. Now, I'm thinking to myself, Chuck, you, first of all, and your whole crew, which is the Democrats, are the worst when it comes to standing up for Americans, fighting on behalf of Americans. You, you'll fight for everybody else, all the other people. I mean, any, any other country, you stand up for them. But let an American, I, I, if I ever get captured overseas, y'all, don't send the Democrats to get me. They're not coming, okay? All right, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna, they're more worried about how everybody else sees us, okay? You know, but for him to get up there and try to make it seems like, seem like Donald Trump's rhetoric was, too, I guess, uh, endearing. He's not able to see the game, okay? All right, so for him to make that comment, that shows how ignorant he is and how political he is because Donald Trump gave compliments where compliments was due. Doesn't Chuck realize he's in the middle of a negotiation? What did you want him to do, Chuck? I mean, the guy shows in good favor and, and, and a good gesture a gesture of releasing three hostages was Donald Trump supposed to say yeah you better had to gave it to me don't you realize the negotiations aren't over and if you know anything about psychology you reward good behavior and you punish negative behavior so if Kim Jong-un actually did something positive that saved three lives and could also lead to further negotiations it probably isn't a good idea to insult him right after he releases the three uh, hostages and ruin the possibility of further in, um, negotiations. And that just goes to show either Chuck doesn't understand uh, diplomacy, he doesn't understand psychology, and he's more interested in trying to make Donald Trump look bad even when he does good things. Now that's what blows my mind. Something good, but yet somehow Chuck finds a way to make it look bad. So I guess our uh, diplomacy from now on is going to be nothing but calling people stupid and dumb and then say, but let's negotiate though. Okay, we're still on for the negotiations. You big dummy, you should have gave me the hostages like eight days ago. You know what? I mean, next time I see, I'm going to punch you in the face, but we're still on, right? We're still on for June and we're going to get together and talk about how we can get rid of those nukes. Yeah? Okay. Does that make any sense? Huh, Chuck? Is that the proper way to negotiate? And the bad part about it is if Donald Trump would have went off if he would have got out there during the press conference and be like, it's because of me, we got the hostages back because little rocket man, uh, he's been acting a fool. He's a butcher. He's a then he'd have been like, Donald Trump doesn't know how to be dipl uh, diplomatic. He's uh, ruining the chances of us even uh, getting this deal passed because of his rhetoric and his harsh speech. But then when he tries to be somewhat toned, um, now all of a sudden he's too nice. And so now you see the game. You know, once you start seeing what the Democrats do, you know, they, they, they will compliment you and insult you at the same time. But they don't compliment you. See, it's like, oh, it's good that we got three hostages back. But Donald Trump, 
that guy, he sucks. He didn't do anything because, the, you know, see, that's why I don't mess with him. I don't want to touch him, okay, with a 10-foot pole. They smell. Boo-boo suit wearing. That's what they are, boo-boo suit wearing. So anyway, Chuck's mad because things are happening, and I know that if Donald Trump is able to pull off this whole uh, negotiation, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and the rest of the crew are going to throw up in their mouths. And I'm going to be right there to laugh, ladies and gentlemen, because I got a feeling he's going to pull it off. All right, now you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. And if you support uh, the Democratic Party, just take a second and think about that. You have something great happen in America. Three people brought home, and he can't even take a break from his garbage rhetoric and politics to celebrate that and compliment the president. That's the type of, you know, it's almost like worse than kids. That's that playground stuff. Like, uh, Mr. Mr. Kevin, he said that, and I don't like him because he, he knew I went with him in the second grade. I wrote a note, and I said that if you like me, mark the barks, X. And then I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are fighting like kids in politics. It's ridiculous. You've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. God bless you. Uh, feel free to support Kevin. Uh, Kevin's Corner and also check me out on Wednesday nights and find me on Facebook, Twitter, all the links are in the bottom. God bless.